In this video, I'll give fans a shocking glimpse into what happens backstage at a WWE event and some of the surprising things that wrestlers do to prepare for their matches. Featured in today's video are Roman Reigns, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins, and more. Seth Rollins has many different things that he does to get ready for a match, including several minutes of stretching, which he does in the locker room for the male wrestlers. But if his fiance Becky Lynch is with him, he instead uses a shared locker room with her, where they can both get ready together. Seth also gets his hair cut and his beard trimmed to make sure that he has the exact look the fans last saw him with on TV. Seth likes to maintain his high energy once he steps through the curtain, so he drinks a lot of coffee backstage. But what might be most surprising about what Seth does backstage to get ready for a match is being oiled up by a WWE female worker. Seth likes to be oiled up so he can draw attention to his toned and muscular physique, and he has someone do the oiling up for him, because he is not able to reach some of the hard to reach places, so he has someone who works for WWE do it for him. And when he makes his entrance, all of his behind the scenes preparation can be witnessed by the millions of fans watching on TV. Roman Reigns got everyone talking when he revealed what he does backstage before he wrestles a match. When Roman Reigns arrives at the building for SmackDown, he arrives in a suit and tie, and then he gets his hair cut. WWE has official hairstylists that every wrestler uses, and because Roman has a very unique look, he needs his hair and beard trimmed every time before he appears on television. And some fans don't know that Roman even has his eyebrows trimmed by the WWE hairstylist. Roman then goes to the WWE makeup artist and has them put on a small amount of makeup to cover up unsightly blemishes. After that, Roman hangs out with his cousin Jey Uso, and they are almost always seen having fun at ringside before SmackDown starts. Roman then gets ready for his match in the gorilla position, and he always looks at himself in the mirror. Fans then see the finished product when Roman Reigns appears on WWE television, but they don't know how much work went into making sure that Roman Reigns looks his best. Drew McIntyre surprised fans recently when he revealed what he does before he wrestles a match on television. Every Monday morning, when Drew McIntyre wakes up, he spends time with his cat, who is always by his side, even when he works in his office. And then Drew makes his way to the building, where Raw will be held that night. And when he gets there, he usually talks to Triple H, who was the man who brought Drew back to WWE. Drew sees Triple H as a mentor. After that, Drew relaxes backstage by playing video games with his real-life best friend, Sheamus. Drew then signs autographs for special memorabilia for WWE Shop. After all of that, Drew puts on some music and starts getting ready for his match. Drew always sprays down his hair with water before he wrestles. Drew says that this helps with his cardio in the ring because it cools him down before the match. Drew then puts on wrist tape and then the rest of his ring gear, and he heads out into the arena for his match. And after it ends, he hangs out with his fellow wrestlers. Rhea Ripley was not happy when WWE photographed her when she arrived to the building for an episode of Raw. Rhea Ripley stands out with her very unique look that includes her one-of-a-kind style and makeup. Before Monday Night Raw goes on the air, Rhea has been seen arriving to the show in the parking lot, and she has been spotted without wearing any makeup at all, where she looks almost unrecognizable. And as seen in these photos, Rhea was not too happy about being photographed without any makeup on. WWE officials always tell their female wrestlers not to wear any makeup 
whatsoever when they arrive to the building. This is because WWE has its very own makeup artists who are told by WWE officials to make their female wrestlers look as glamorous as possible. When Rhea Ripley finally makes her entrance to the ring, fans can see the amazing transformation into the Rhea Ripley character that fans know and love, thanks in part to WWE makeup artists. Stone Cold Steve Austin revealed something recently that shocked many of his longtime fans. Stone Cold has been retired from wrestling for 18 years, and at this moment, Stone Cold has no plans of getting back into the ring. But there is one thing that Steve Austin has made sure to do after he retired, which was to keep the same look that he has had for over 25 years. Stone Cold's biggest trademark is his completely shaved head, and many fans actually believe that Steve Austin has someone shave his head for him. But that is not the case at all, because Steve Austin actually shaves it himself. When Steve used to wrestle for WWE, he would shave his head right before he would wrestle on television with a disposable razor and shaving cream. And then after Steve Austin shaved his head, he would then go out to the ring and either wrestle a match or he would show off his great mic skills. But now that Steve Austin doesn't wrestle, he shaves his head every single day when he wakes up. There are procedures where you can get the hair on your head lasered off. But Stone Cold Steve Austin enjoys shaving his head every day because he finds it relaxing. Stone Cold has thought about not shaving his head anymore, but he fears that his hair would be completely gray if he grew it out. Because Steve is now 56 years old, which is the main reason why he still shaves his head. Fans can see Steve Austin on his talk show where he interviews today's biggest wrestling stars. And this is Stone Cold Steve Austin's main focus right now. Stone Cold has made it clear over the years that he never wants to wrestle again. But many fans believe that Steve should return before he turns 60 years old. That's it for today everybody, but before you leave... I want to know if you think that Steve Austin should return to WWE and wrestle one more match. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so you don't miss our next video.